Dart Mox is a mock framework for Dart inspired by RSpec. So if you're an RSpec user, you'll probably find everything I'm going to show you very familiar. Alright, first installing the library. And then importing it. And now we are good to go. I'm going to test the following two classes. We have the player and the remote control classes. A remote control can turn up and turn down the volume if the player is on. Let's start with stubbing. Dart Mouse gives you a few helper functions for creating stubs, one of which is unsurprisingly called stub. You can pass a configuration object which maps function names to the return values to that stub function, and it will take care of building a test double and setting up all the necessary behaviors. Running the tests, green. The stub function covers only the very basic use case. Often we'd like to configure each method individually. For instance, to specify the arguments of a stub method call. You can do it as follows. Checking the test again, green. Configuring a stub method to throw an exception is done as follows. If you need to do something custom in response to a method call, Dart Mouse gives you a way to do it. Just call and call instead of and return and pass a function into it. Let's run the tests. Good. The next thing I'd like to show is how to define a partial test double. Though it's an anti pattern, it can still be useful in some situations. To do it, just set the real property on a test double. Here, the isOn function is stopped, and the changeVolume function is called on the real object. If you don't want your test double to respond to framework methods, call pure on it. It will return a test double that can only respond to the messages you configured. This object will throw an exception if you call stop or should receive on it. Now let's look at setting expectations, or in other words, building mock objects. As you can see, you just need to call should receive instead of stop. The verify method checks that all the set expectations have been met. Checking tests. Let's see the test failing by commenting now on this line. Awesome. Calling verify on every created mock can be tedious. To help you with that, Dart mock stores all expectations so you can check all of them at once by calling current test run verify. We don't need that. Let's see the test fail again. Splendid! There is more to building mocks than just calling should receive. For instance, you can specify how many times a particular method should be called. Check out the documentation for more information. By the way, both the stop and mock functions return an instance of test double, which means that you can use the test double class directly, as follows. At the end, I'd like to show you how to extend the test double. This feature is extremely useful, considering that if you run your application in the check mode, the following code will throw an exception. To fix it, you have to create a test double implementing the player interface. Now the types will work. As you can see, Dart mocks is very much like RSpec mocks, and that was one of the goals of the project to be familiar for RSpec users. But even if you've never used RSpec, I believe you will be able to pick up Dart mocks in about half an hour. So I hope you will give it a try. Thanks for watching.